before this video starts, thank you for 200 subscribers. I didn't expect this, the top 10 worst video to get so many views. I'm so happy that you people watch my content. Thank you so much. Okay, so before we start with this list, one, this is my opinion, okay? If you like any of these characters, I'm sorry. The last video, I forgot to say that, and I got attacked by so many annoying people. But thank you, like, thanks for, you know, the support, people. Um, This is all my opinion, okay? If any of these characters you like, whatever, that's fine. I don't, you know what, I don't care. Okay, so, um, and, and two, the characters from the last list would not be in this list because that would be cheating. It'd just be the same thing. Like, these are characters that I forgot to mention. And three, most of these are not in the particular order, and... Some of them are not even as bad as a lot of the other characters from my last list, which is, oh my, I, I hate those characters. Most of them are so annoying, insufferable. So yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the rules. Um, now, let's get started. Number 10, Jub Jub. Yeah, I know, I didn't put in my last list. So you're gonna say, Wait, why is he here now? You said that he was just a boring baby. I mean, yeah, that's true. But that's the point. He's just a boring baby character. I don't have much to say. But, yeah, that's it. He's not charming or anything. At least with Luigi and Tari in modern times, they're still likable. I could enjoy some moments from them. They, they could be charming at times. But Jub Jub, he's just a boring baby. I don't care about him at all. I don't really hate him. As much as most of the other characters from my other list and this list. But, yeah, that's it. He's really boring. Don't care about him. Number 9. Modern Boomkins. Okay, this is a similar situation with the Bob one. I loved Boomkins from 2017 to 19. But now he's so whiny. I get annoyed every time I see him nowadays. He doesn't even do any funny or charming jokes. Like, all the charm from his past is gone. He used to be that likable young innocent child and he used to help bob in and they had their own crazy adventures bob's the bad mouth one and boomkins is the nice innocent boy that is all gone he's now just there he doesn't do anything he's super boring now i remember i used to love boomkins he was like one of my favorites aside from bob and meggie inkling meggie by the way inkling okay D don't forget that okay but now he's just he's just he's, he's similar to jub jub but it's kind of worse here because I actually liked Boomkins in the past. So this is kind of just a big middle finger to me. Unlike Bob where I cannot see them fix Bob because they're being more strict with the humor. Boomkins, there is a little bit of a chance they could fix Boomkins. But I highly doubt Luke and Kevin would even care to fix him. Number 8, Depresso. I hate this clown. Depresso is... Such a bland character. He, he, he's made... Just so Luke and Kevin... I, I bet they're going to make more merchandise out of this thing because they want more characters. They just keep adding more characters for no reason and they don't even add anything to the show. Depresso is no exception. This character is so bland and awful and boring. I hate Depresso. His only personality is that he's sad and he, he turns people to clowns in that awful video that I didn't even laugh a single time. It was so bad. He talks about how he lost the most precious girl in the world, and we're supposed to feel sympathy or sad for him. But we never saw the Presso or the st whatever the hell that clown her her name is date ever before. So I'm like, I don't care. I don't care about the Presso, Luke and Kevin. Get him away. I never want to see him again. This design looks atrocious too. I hate the Presso. Number seven, Susan. Oh boy, Susan. I hate Susan. It doesn't help that she's based off that the person who owns YouTube who's really strict. Susan is really bad. I don't hate her as much as other fans. Fans really despise her. But that doesn't mean she's a good character. I hate her. All she is is just a plot device thing. She just changes the story around the worst way possible. And she breaks, like, the stories. Like, she actually breaks the stories. Let me explain. Like... For example, in the stupid, awful Revelations arc, why didn't Mario or SMG4 go to Susan and tell her to reverse things so they could just fix everything? They could just solve things. You see what I mean? She breaks the stories, and now there's not really any infinite threat when you have Susan. Susan is literally overpowered. You could, She's basically like Melanie, although she's not as annoying, where Melanie is like the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Susan is just 
a tad annoying. Number six, the old guy. First of all, look at Kevin. Why do you change his design? Oh my gosh. He, what, what made him unique was that he was an 8 bit character. Now he's just a bland human being. All his jokes are just the modern memes in 2022 and onward. That's all he is nowadays. Like, for example, the stupid, awful Mario Market video. I forgot its name. This is the only joke he says in the entire video. Egg, 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 egg. That's not funny. Oh my god. Oh. Shut up. I get it. It's the new meme. Like, make him. Like, make him a crazy old guy again. That was the point of his character. He was funny as a crazy, wacky old man. Let me show you a 2018 video clip. What is that? What do Stinky. <laughs> what? Motherfucking guy, what the hell you say to me? What the fuck are you talking about? Why you have to insult me? Bro, I'm very self-conscious, you Piss know. off, big head! What, what the hell, what do you say to me? I, I kill you. You ain't gonna do shit. That's why oh, I yeah. oh, shit! Yeah, infinitely much better. He lost all his charm. I hate his new design, honestly. Which is a stupid new common trend they're doing. Luke and Kevin just keep changing the character's design in, in the worst ways possible. And it just gets rid of all the flavor. Number five. Modern swag. Okay, this might be personal. I despise the If Mario was in the Sonic movies 1 and 2. They both suck. Which is worst? I don't know. But Swag ruined them. He's in love with Sonic and harasses him. And let's let's not forget that Sonic is 15 and Swag 60. That's all the jokes with him and, and Sonic. And it's cringeworthily creepy and disturbing. The rest of his appearances in 2020 and onward are boring. He doesn't really do that much. But I despise Swag in those two videos. He ruined them. And this is personal, okay? It's, it's just him from those two videos, okay? And if, listen, if they make If Mario Was in the Soccer Movie 3, I'm never watching it. I don't care. Actually, I'm not even going to watch any other New Year after 2022, because I'm actually done with this series. So yeah, screw you, swag, and I'm not going to miss you. Number four, Karen. I despise Karen. She immediately became popular like a stupid watermelon, for no reason. Because, oh, she's... Uh, a new a waifu for furries, I think. Whatever, I don't care. That, that like she stupidly got popular for st doing nothing, which just shows that Luke and Kevin could just make up a new awful character, and people will still praise him because they like they're hardcore fans and they don't care, and they just like simp stuff. They like really like doing their Rule Thirty Four or some crap. That, that yeah 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 yeah. Wow wow wow. Breaking new grounds. This character sucks. She's basically t Toad and Shroomy mixed together, but without any of their charm. Like, all she does is sit in her counter and be a jerk to her customers who order something when she doesn't give it to them. She takes them with a gun. Wow. Wow. What a likable character. She's such a jerk. She's a B-word. And, yeah, she, like, yeah, yeah, that's all. And, and she does nothing. That, that, that's all her jokes. I hate Karen. Screw you, Karen. Number three. Psycho. Psycho, psycho, psycho. What did they do to you? I prefer her as a villain, honestly. She actually had more personality as a villain. She was actually fun. And now, she, she, she's, she's really bland. The last major thing she did that was remotely fine was the anime arc. She, her world there was fine, whatever. But nowadays, they had nothing to do with her. And then they added a stupid story thing. I don't know if you count that as an arc with the stupid Kaizo, which I'll talk about later. Trust me. And she really sucks, and she's a big jerk now. She doesn't save her friends nowadays. She doesn't care. She's really rude. Although, to be fair, almost every other character from the past has become a huge asshole. So, And she's so not consistent. Like, for example, she doesn't save Mario or any of the other characters whenever they get attacked, in that, like, especially in that stupid laundry video. Like, she doesn't care. Yet she saves Kaizo when Kaizo's been an asshole for the entire, like, for, like, for every appearance he's been in. Why? Okay, so you don't want to save your friends who you've known for years for no reason. Yeah, you're going to save Kaizo who tried to kill you a million times and he was an asshole to you a bunch of times. This doesn't make any sense. I hate, I hate Modern Psycho. She's really bland. Honestly, I hate her new design. 
there's people in the comment section in my um what's my thoughts on my the cycle design they said they liked it that's fine okay if you like it that's cool but i despise it and and plus she should have been the only anime character nowadays she's she doesn't really stand out anymore because there's so many anime characters and i'm sick and tired of this look at kevin can we please stop with the anime characters number two modern smg4 i hate him now i despise him he might be the the third worst ever i'm not joking like right now he, I, I, I all he is now is just a annoying stupid brat who just wants money that's all i'm not talking about looking kevin in real life like i'm not trying to offend him or anything like looking like you know i'm pretty sure looking kevin in real life are nice people okay i'm just saying smg4 in the channel he is a real asshole he just cares about money and you know it feels like he, he just uses his friends for slave labor it's not like they're it, it feels like they're not even real friends he like his stupid jokes with the big eyes and stuff is so annoying and and that became a trend in 2021 and onward and he makes money out of mario which which by the way that like you know the gen like you know the genesis arc makes him more eviler than you think like he literally turned mario to an idiot and turned him to a slave labor and the newest arc actually makes him even more eviler because he it, 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 now now i kind of feel like smg4 is the real villain of the channel honestly he is it feels like he doesn't care he just wants money and that's his entire personality he wants to make people watch his videos he he, he says like, oh yeah i'm trying to approve my stuff blah 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 and then he advertises metal runner stuff and it's so annoying also not to be rude okay but luke listen i don't know how to say this but he's not a good actor he's not a good voice actor i'm sorry luke i'm sorry luke listen I mean, three's actor does a really amazing job, but four, oh my, I'm, I'm sorry. It's, it just sounds like Luke is bored. It's, it sounds like he doesn't even want to do the video or the voice acting at all. It sounds like he didn't even try. I'm sorry. It just sounds like he's bored. And also he keeps adding more stupid continuity, which just makes the universe more blander. Like the meme crap, their powers, their, their, their energy thing or crap that just ruins the f series for me. To me, I thought it was just their language or something. Like, you know, that's how they speak. It was a modern thing. It wasn't a stupid power source. I don't know why Luke Kevin did this. It kind of just ruins the franchise for me. It just makes everyone like it just, it just, it just, makes, and, oh yeah. And now they're going to go to the Wikipedia. Oh my. This, honestly, every time I hear Luke's voice in SNG4, I just feel kind of annoyed. Again, it's not attack on Luke and Kevin. I'm listen. Uh, I, I don't hate them, okay, but I do hate four nowadays. He's also a real big asshole to three. Mm, I, I feel bad for three, honestly. Before we get to number one, we gotta get to some honorable mentions. How the monitor? I honestly don't know why some people consider this the worst character. He's not that bad, honestly. I actually like some of the videos he's on. I think he's a pretty good character. Well, not good, but okay. I mean, maybe I'm just giving them too much credit because the, the other characters in this list are more annoyinger. But yeah, he's not that bad to have around. Did you expect more? Yeah, I, I have nothing else. I'm Number one is Kaizo. I don't care if that's how you say his name or not. I despise this guy. Like, really. I really hate him. I'm not joking. This is one of the new worst characters of all time. Actually, the second. I despise this character. Look at Kevin. Do we really need another anime character? A second tired of this anime. Are you kidding me? This character is so rude. All his personality is, is a jerk. That's it. He's just a jerk. He doesn't do anything else. He's just a rude, rude guy who wants to rock and roll. Wow, wow, wow. And you know what? I think this character was just made for woman simps. You know, woman to like this guy. I think he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what are you? What yeah, what, wow, wow, wow. What new grounds are breaking? Okay, Melanie was for the stupid guys. And Kai Joe is for the stupid woman who want to simp for a piece of crap, okay? Yeah, Re thank you, look at Kevin. Thank you. You need to appeal to all audiences. This character sucks. All his jokes are unfunny. He's just a jerk. He, he's, his video was basically a ripoff of Doki Doki Liquor Drug Club. Kai Joe is just a jerk. He's just a jerk, and the video is super bland and annoying. I hate Kai Joe. He's literally the worst abomination aside from Melanie. Literally, I despise this character. I hate him. And he became immediately a new character. 
I am so done with this. I hate Kaijo. I never want to see this character again. I despise this character. And every episode he was in, he made them worse. I'm not kidding. He's basically the male version of Melanie now. Okay? I hate this character. He is literally one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. I despise you, Kaijo. And I hope you die. You're not even handsome. You're ugly. Disgusting creature. Go away. I hate this character. You know, you, screw you. And also, sc screw the video you were on. And screw everything you resemble. You know what? Next time, when I if I do a third one, we're only going to talk about old characters. From, we're not going to talk anymore about the stupid, stupid modern, modern crap, okay? We're not done with talking about the worst characters of the modern times, okay? Except for Melanie. Like, we're going to actually have a video about why Melanie's the worst character of all time.